now that I see you in person, you don't look like a black person. You look like a dark-skinned Latina or something like that, right? Really? Why would you want to call yourself Afro-Latina? Because black people are so negative. There's nothing really good about being an Afro. And, and they pretend to be... <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> and they pretend to be Afro, Afro-Americans when really they are Americans. They wouldn't even recognize Africa if it drove down the road past them. Right. Uh, it, it's such a negative thing. Why would you want to present yourself in a half, because you're 100% Latina, why would you want to present yourself with the Afro thing? What's the purpose? Culturally, so yes, I, I am I'm, I am very Dominican. I am right. very Latina. But you can obviously also tell I am very black as well. Right. And, um, and I, I wouldn't say uh, what exactly, the thing is that what exactly does a Latina look like? So like if, I'm, if I'm a dark Latina, what does a Latina look like? Like you. So what does an African-American woman look like? Like uh, me. No, but there's no such thing as an African-American woman. They okay. made that up. Okay, they so we're all Americans. African. They are American. They were born okay. here. They're American, but they're dumb. And so they're calling themselves African-Americans because they don't think for themselves. Jesse Jackson told them to call themselves that. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So why right. would you, uh, a woman like you, so talented, you don't even look like them, why would you want to attach that to your name? What? You know, you are very special. Um, <laughs> moving forward. What? <laughs> Uh, help! Uh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I you am. You would do much better and sooner if you didn't have the Afro Latina. No, 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 no. I will always be Afro Latina, and that's why I'm an activist. I love my melanin. I love my background. I love my race. And you know, I wouldn't. I, I feel that that's that's even more of a reasons why my name is Amara La Negra, which means you know in English the translation would be the black. Um, I'm very proud of my color, you know, and I know that I've always had to work twice as hard um, in order to get my work recognized. But that's fine, though. Twice as twice as hard as who? Well, as anybody that's you know of lighter complexion, and this is not something that's new or something I'm trying to make a controversy about. This is actual facts, you know? Well, see, that's not true either. The blacks are lying about that. When they say they have to work uh, harder than the white person to move up, they're yes. just lazy. They don't want to work hard. No, I would never generalize and say no, that but, but because, you know, listen, black people are lazy. They you know? are. When they There's a certain like that, amount of people that well, can be lazy. I know, but what they're saying is, Lord, I don't feel like working. But the white man going to show me off. No. So I know I got to work a lot. I got to go out here. Are you serious work. though? Yeah, they, I got to work harder than the white man. You're supposed to work hard. The reason you're so good at what you do, you naturally do it. And not because you're trying to prove anything to the white people. You're just being you. Isn't that better? But to, the thing about it is that in my eyes, it's not a black and white thing. Not in my eyes. But in their eyes, it is. Yeah, but the thing is that I'm not concerned about their eyes. You the see, I'm concerned people, about mine. Well, in my that, in like, my eyes, coming from a Latin background, also being born and raised in the United States, I'm able to see both sides. And it's not, you know, a colorism also exists amongst my own community. And we could be, we're all Dominicans, or we're all Cubans, or we're all Venezuelans, or we're all Latinos at the end of the day, and that still happens amongst us. So it's not just a Caucasian thing and a black thing, not in my eyes. But to these black people, it is. I'm telling you, black people are not. So out of curiosity, the I'm sorry. The lights are on, but ain't nobody home. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, just you know out of curiosity. I mean? So what are you? What are you? Um, an American. Black You're an American. American. You're a guitar player in my heart, not drums. Not drums. I'm right. an American. Why don't you just be... Uh, Dominican. I am Dominican. But don't put the Afro stuff. You hurt yourself. Never. B believe me. Oh, okay. Because they're never going to accept you. Oh, well, then I have another option but to. See, I'm breaking barriers and it's working. So I think it's also about being vocal and also being able to uplift other people to realize their own greatness. And it has work. It, it is working, you know. People in Espanol just consider me one of the 50th most pretty, uh, prettiest people. And I was able to be on the cover, which for the most part, we don't get a lot of, if not to say none at all, but we don't get a lot of Afro-Latinos, on covers, on soap operas, on movies. So, you know, it is working to be but vocal about it. you know why you don't, you don't see a lot of black people on, on magazines and things, right? Because black people don't work for themselves. They, they, want some, they want the white man to do it, rather than just doing it themselves. If they did it so, themselves. So, but, okay, okay. And not all, not all, not all, but most. 
Right, right, right. Um, let's not say most or anything like that because there is a lot of successful African Americans, successful Black people. If you don't want to, no. you know, put the African part, there's a lot of amazing successful people that are not true. brilliant. That are. Okay, what? Not true. I don't know if you know or not. In this country, Black people are not successful. They're only where they are because of affirmative action based on color. They're not smart enough. They don't work as hard. They're there because of color. That's why I don't want you to have the Afro thing because I watch some of your videos. You have a natural talent. So if you just be you. I you am gonna, me. But don't do the Afro thing because blacks only get in these positions because of their color, not because they're qualified. Oh, okay. They get into like, university. Like you're not qualified to be here now? Yeah, because I'm not into the Afro thing. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm okay. just being me. Okay. And so, but if you're into the Afro thing, the white people are gonna let you in because they're scared not to, and not because they think you're qualified. You see these black entertainers, the black educators, they're not real smart. They only got it because of affirmative action. Now they want reparations. Do you want reparations? I'm actually not sure, but um, I'm sorry. This is this is um, it's the first time I have an interview like this. You know, I'm feeling <laughs> a little lost right Aren't now. Are you having fun now? I'm not sure how to feel right now. What do you mean? I'm slightly confused. <laughs> I don't know if to laugh or if to, you know, have a love and hip hop moment. <laughs> have a love and hip hop moment. Okay. We're having fun. But I just don't want you to mess up your life by joining on with these people. You know what I'm saying? Leave Who off are the these Afro, people? The Afro people. But let's move on because of time. Yeah, let's, let's move on because I'm not sure if we're on the same page. And I'm not sure if this is a joke or if you're serious. And I'm not sure how I'm supposed to react. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. That is amazing. Amazing. Amazing.